Today, we are going to learn 17 tips and tricks from Microsoft to do so that you can filter out the noise when it comes to task management and focus on what matters most. Hi, my name's Amy. Welcome to my channel. Let's nerd out. At Amy's Animal Shop, at the start of each day, I plan my tasks and navigate to Microsoft To Do from the new Outlook. Alternatively, you can navigate to Microsoft To Do via the App Launcher and locate To Do there. At the start of each day, I have a bunch of To Dos popping around in my head and I just need to jot them down. So I head to My Day, which leads us to our second feature, which is private tasks. And here we will add tasks that I would like to complete for today. The first one is to follow up with Sarah about chair rentals for the dog competition. Now you can go ahead and add a due date as well as a reminder, but you do not need to add those. The idea here is that you can simply jot down your tasks at the speed of thought and we can press enter to add that task to our day. Now that my brain is clear of those to-do tasks, I take a glance at what is already showing in my day, which leads us to tip number three, and that is three reasons why I love my day. This includes tasks that are assigned to you in other apps. For example, this research top three competitors, if we click on this task, then we can expand it and we can see that we can open this task within Microsoft Teams and that it is part of the Roo Dog Show competition plan. Additionally, we have this Research Innovative Designs task, and in this one, we are able to open it within Microsoft Loop. So this task is associated with a task list in Microsoft Loop for the Trendy Dog Beach Merch line. We will dive into both of these integrations a little bit later. But this doesn't just show these tasks that are assigned to you in other apps. It also shows private tasks that are scheduled for today, providing a centralized area for you to manage all of your tasks that are due today. Reason B that I love my day is this suggestions tab on the top right. If we go ahead and click on that, we can expand some suggestions from Microsoft to do, providing us with some tasks that were due yesterday, later, or even some recently added tasks that you might want to work on for today. And you know what? This purchase tasty dog treats, this is due on Friday, but my Friday is looking pretty busy. So let's go ahead and expand this task and we can add it to my day so that we can complete that today to free up Friday. Reason C that I love my day is that we have complete control over the content that is displayed here. Productivity experts recommend only having three to five tasks scheduled per day. And we already have four here and I know that I need to start on some other projects. So what we can do is this research innovative designs. I'm going to expand this task card. This one is scheduled for today, which is why it is appearing here because my day automatically updates based on tasks that are scheduled for today. The exception of my day is tasks that we have manually added, such as this private task or this purchase tasty dog treats. Now, even though this research innovative designs task is due today, I'm pretty sure that I can get this done quickly tomorrow morning. So I'm going to head over to the task card, hover over added to my day and click this X icon to remove it from my day. And there you go. Now you have a bunch of bonus little tips for the reasons that I love my day. Which leads us to tip number four, which is your planned tasks. Providing a centralized area for all of your tasks that are scheduled, i.e. having a due date. This includes tasks that are assigned to you from other apps or even private tasks with a due date. So we can see here that we are able to locate that research innovative designs task that we just removed from my day. Tip number five is how we can add sub tasks. The research top three competitors task, we can see that this is part of my day from the little sun icon here. And if we expand this task on the task card, we can add additional steps. So I like to break these down into 15 minute intervals. I'm going to go ahead and add Lucy the Lab, Bob the Bulldog, and Charlotte the Corgi. 
great. I find that this really helps set me up for success by clearly defining the next steps for each of my tasks and also breaking them into small time chunks so that I can get them done between meetings. Tip number six is how we can prioritize our tasks. And Rue's competition is coming up and we need to be on the leading edge of our competitors. So researching the top three competitors is a priority today. I'm going to go ahead and click the star icon to mark this task as important. And these starred tasks are easily filtered and accessed from the important tab on the left navigation menu. Additionally, when we expand this task card and open it in Microsoft Teams, then we can select this task card and see that this is now marked as high priority, demonstrating how these task items synchronize between the two apps. Additionally, if we mark off Lucy the lab, then we can see that the progress has started. And back in Do, we can see that tasks one of three have been completed, showing that Lucy the lab, we have done our competitor analysis. The next area that I go to when planning my day is the assigned to me. And this includes all of the tasks that have been assigned to you in other apps, such as Microsoft Planner, Microsoft Loop, or even within a Microsoft to-do list. From here, I will review all of the tasks that have been assigned to me. And one question that I've received recently is how to view completed tasks, which from the ellipses at the top, we can simply go show completed tasks. To mark a task as not complete, you can simply click on this check icon, and now that task is available for you to complete. I personally like to hide my tasks. So from the ellipses, I'm going to go hide completed tasks. And now I can focus on the tasks at hand. There is one additional thing that I want to highlight here, which is this research environmentally friendly warehouses. This is for our new Palm merch line and it currently has no date. So from this planned area, we can see that there are four items here, but this is from our meeting last week. It doesn't have a due date, but I do know that I need to get started. So I'm going to go ahead and add a due date for tomorrow. We will see here how that has now updated the plan task to five because we have added a date. Additionally, tomorrow morning, that task will automatically appear in my day as it will be scheduled for today. The eighth tip is how we can assign hashtags to help organize our tasks. So for this purchase, Tasty Dog Treats, if we go to the notes area, then we can add a hashtag. And if you are enjoying this video, then please give it a thumbs up as it really helps me out. Once we have clicked outside of that notes area, we will see that that has now gone to a hyperlink. And we go to a different task area, and I'm going to now add the same hashtag to this follow up with Sarah task. Then what we can do is go up to the search bar and now we can search for that tag. So this is a great way to help you add additional labels to your tasks, such as client names. The next area that I go to when planning my day is the flagged emails. And since most of our emails are to do items anyways, back in my mail window of Outlook, I'm going to go ahead and flag this email is I do need to review the venues for our Portugal work retreat. Back in to do, in the flagged email area, we can see that that task has been created and just note that there is no date assigned, so you do need to do that manually. But if we go ahead and expand this task, then we will see that that email has populated to this task card and we can also easily reference the email by clicking on that hyperlink leading me to tip number 10, which is my favorite feature when flagging emails, is that this email is tagged as the yellow category and that has also pulled through to the task card so we can see that yellow category there. And this categories feature is also available for private tasks. So we can go ahead and tag this follow up with Sarah as the blue category. Last but not least, similar to hashtags, we can now go ahead and search for these categories in the search bar, and we will see that Portugal work retreat venues email pop up. The final area that I look at when planning my day is the task area. 
And this shows all of your private tasks. We can see that that follow up with Sarah task that we added this morning is also showing up here. And when I'm reviewing my tasks here, I like to schedule any that do not have a date. And this one for Sarah, it does not actually have a date because we did not define one when we created it. We created the private task in my day, which is why it is flagged for my day. So to go ahead now and add that due date, we can select the date to be today. And we will notice that the planned task has gone up and we can see that that follow up with Sarah is now showing in the planned area as well. Back in task, if you need to view any of your completed tasks, you can simply select this drop down carrot to view those. One thing that I've heard is really good for productivity is to conduct a weekly review, which leads me to tip number 12, which is to create a recurring task. So let's go ahead and add a task. We will call it weekly reflection. And from this date picker, I'm going to go ahead and select pick a date. I would like to conduct this every Friday. Then from this repeat icon, I'm going to expand it and select weekly. Now we can go ahead and add our weekly task. And if we expand that weekly reflection task, then we can take a look at tip number 13, which is how we can add files to a task. I'm going to go ahead and select this weekly business reflection word document template. So now we can keep all of our tasks as well as associated files in one harmonized location. Before we move on to integrations, I wanted to show you Microsoft to do lists. Let's go ahead and add a new list. We will call this venue supplies and simply press enter to create the list. Once we have added some tasks in there, then we can now go ahead and share our list with another person in our team. You'll see here that anyone in your organization with this link can join and edit the list. Let's go ahead and invite Mike via email. I will go ahead and add Mike and then simply send. People that you invite can then follow a link and then simply join the list. And once people have joined your list, you can then expand the task items and under the assign to, you can assign different people to different tasks. Here we are in Mike's to do and under assign to me, we will see that coordinate welcome baskets appearing there. If you are planning to create a list for your team, there might be a better app, which we will review in the next section. I personally like to use lists just for personal items such as groceries, tracking books, quotes, and many other things like that. Now that we have taken a look at some key features of Microsoft to do, we are going to dive into integrations so that you can utilize Microsoft to do to its potential. And if you are interested in learning a little bit more about any of these integrations or other apps, then I've included some suggested videos in the description of this video. The first integration that we will look at is Microsoft Loop. And here we have collaborative notes created in Microsoft Teams for our trendy dog beach merch line. And when we have tasks assigned in a task list like we do here, then we will see them under the assigned to me within Microsoft to do. And if we go ahead and mark this task as complete and then back in loop, we will see that this has also updated, showing that they sync and update in real time. The second integration that I wanted to show you is a new feature in the new Outlook. So here from the top, we have the my day feature and I am toggled on to do. And now I want to create a task from this rural training location services. And somehow that thumbs up category got there again. I'm not sure how that's there, but if you haven't already hit that like button, then I would really appreciate it. Now to turn this email into a task, we can simply select the email and drag it over to add it as a task. Back in to do under tasks, we can see that private task created for the rural training location services. And once again, that email similar to flagged emails is showing up at the bottom and you can easily navigate to that email from the link. The third integration is Microsoft Planner. I am using the planner within Microsoft Teams, but you can also use planner for the web. 
And we saw earlier how this integrates and syncs with Microsoft To Do. Microsoft Planner has a ton of other new features and some similarities to Microsoft To Do. I won't bore you with those details now, but feel free to check out my other video here for all of the juicy details.